Hey everybody, Miss Chu here. So it is week nine, the last week of the quarter. You can see our objective is here at the top. It's self-responsibility. This is the last week of the quarter and I am at a conference on Monday and Tuesday, so there will not be any Zoom meetings. Work on your RTDF draft one project, see the assignment section, and watch this info video if you're confused. And if you're still confused, use the Microsoft Teams chat to connect with your classmates. If you still have any questions, you can send me an email and I will do my best to respond later Later this afternoon. Remember, please work smarter, not harder. Read the directions, reread the directions, check out the N114 tips. So for attendance Monday and Tuesday, October 5th and 6th, please email me, Miss Chu, your class period and the link to your RTDF draft one project. Remember, all of your work is due October 8th by 8 p.m. You guys, you've got this. I'm going to scroll on down then to section three assignments. We're going to keep scrolling until we get all the way over to RTDF Draft 1. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see the camel and the baby camel. As you scroll across, you are going to see an explanation of why we're doing this and how you're going to complete it. I know it's going to seem like a lot, but just remember, it's basically a compilation of all of the work that you have done so far during the quarter. Again, during our first quarter together, we will be defining responsibilities, traditions, dreams, and friendships. This WIPA combines the work from quarter one into a comprehensive package for sharing our opinions and insights with others. Your suggested app or the program to use is Sway. Of course, if you want to use something else like do a complete YouTube video or if you just want to do a loom or a screen recording, kind of like I'm doing, and do a narrative, that's fine too. You choose, as long as it includes all of this information that follows. You're going to start off with an introduction, and in your introduction, it's going to include the following information. Your name, your school, your class title, a greeting to your reader reviewer, definitions, a thank you, and an image. That's the minimum for a C. Remember to read all of these details here. If you think about it, that's kind of like a letter. And a lot of times when you start in a book, you'll see a letter from the author to the reader. That's what you're doing. Next section is introduce yourself. Check it out. This is actually your assignment one from the beginning of the quarter to introduce yourself this way. Go ahead and drop your link in here. And then you can see there are some additional optional add-ons for an A plus along with the scoring requirements. Make sure that you explain how this activity connects to your RTDF project. Does your, does your introduce yourself exemplify responsibilities, traditions, dreams, or friendships? Be attentive to your content fluency and organization when you write your explanation. So remember, this is kind of that authentic assessment that I talk about, where I'm going to be looking at how you have taken everything that we've talked about through bell work when we talk about content, fluency, and organization, and put it into this project. Here's your coat of arms. Oh, hey, that was assignment number two. Again, explanation. Then we kind of skip assignment number three and we go straight into assignment number four, your what is love essay. Don't forget to include your sentences about it your what is love activity choice. If you've forgotten to do it, this is your time to insert it into this project, into your wrap up assignment. Self-care essay, that's assignment number five. Keep going, activity choice, that was part of assignment five. Responding to betrayal essay, that's your assignment number six essay. Your activity choice, again, that was a part of assignment six. This is where we come back to assignment three. You had those 20 questions. They were chunked in five questions each with responsibilities. That goes here. Traditions, dreams or goals, and friendships. Remember, it's not just copy and paste because we're not in kindergarten where we're cutting and pasting. We're gonna add some thought to this. So for all four of those sections, notice there are three bullets. You're gonna include your responses from the assignment number three. Then you're going to include any writings from your notebook from the quarter that relate to the category, for in this case, friendships. So look at your bell work. What did you include in your bell work that could be contributed to friendships? For example, we talked about favorite snacks. Maybe you like to share your favorite snack with your friends. We also talked about favorite songs. Maybe you like to share your songs with your friends. Think a little bit outside of the box, extend your thinking, and connect something there. Again, write a little sentence that explains why you chose that bell work. You could also choose your reading log. Remember, reading logs were due every week. 
part of your asynchronous work. This is a great time to make up those reading logs. Add some of the books that you've read. Remember, you can double dip. I encourage you to double dip. Work smarter, not harder. You all have so many assignments to complete already. So go ahead and take what you're already learning from another class and stick it in here. And then an activity choice that relates to friendships. Here's your scoring at the bottom. For an A, you're gonna include all three. Remember, an activity choice does not need to be something that's gonna take you 15, 20 minutes to do. Do a quick little Google. Search friendships. Pick something on there that you think relates to friendships and is relevant. Drop that link in onto this page of your RTDF project. Write a quick little sentence that explains how it connects. Bam, you are done. Again, for the A though, pay attention to content, fluency, and organization. Okay, that takes us to our last part, your conclusions. You are going to write a conclusion that considers and responds to the following questions. You'll notice that there are five questions. If each question becomes a paragraph, you have written five paragraphs. Hint, hint, surprise, surprise, you just wrote an essay. Did I trick you? A little bit, but I know essays are still scary, even though we've been working on them in class. A minimum completion for a C, again, your response touches on each of the above questions. Please be attentive to content, fluency, and organization when you write your bateo. Click on that link in case you forgot what that is. Okay, questions, contact Ms. Chu are posted in Microsoft Teams. You guys have got this, I believe in you. This is due October 8th by 8 p.m. All right, guys, it's been a great uh, quarter. I'm super proud of all the hard work that you have done. Let's push through, get this last activity done. I will see you in class on Thursday, unless you're a Friday kid, in which case I will see you after fall break. All right, have a good day, everybody. Talk to you later.